Hello and welcome to Unit 5, Momentum and its Conservation. Momentum and the idea of conservation of momentum may be the most important idea in all of physics. As we can see from the pictures I've included here, it involves safety in all realms of our lives, from automobiles to athletic safety, to rockets and spaceship and space travel, to helicopters and travel and transportation, to athletics and motion of all different types. As we see here, an athlete practicing parkour. And so this has implications for how we move, how we do our sports, and how we stay safe and become uh, avoid injury. So momentum, momentum is a very, very important concept in the course. Some of the questions we will be exploring are, why do things change their motion? What are the concepts that govern the change of objects' motion? What are the rules and principles that govern these change of motion? The universe is an ordered place that seems to follow rules. So what are those rules? And, and a way to find meaning in a personal and international context is how does the physics of momentum and impulse affect our daily lives? We're going to see lots of examples of that. So let's put this in an intellectual framework for us. So what we know about AP Physics 1 is that the entire course is about motion. Everything about it is about motion. We have seen that there are... <clears throat> a one big question about motion is what is the nature of the motion? The answer to that question in that subfield is kinematics. And basically what we spent a long time learning about how to distinguish the different types of motion, which we could simply categorize as constant velocity and changing velocity. So what is the nature of the motion that's kinematics? The more important question is why do things move or change their motion? The way they do. Now the answer to that question is a bit more complex and we are going to focus <coughs> on momentum. The other answer to that question is energy. All of these items arranged in this line are conservation laws. So why do things move the way they do? Well, it's governed by conservation laws, in particular momentum and energy. Now there are other conservation laws that we will touch on in this course mass, law of conservation of mass, and there is yet another one, electrical charge. We won't learn about that in depth, but it does touch on the course in some way. So there are more conservation laws than just this four, quite a few more. But our focus is on momentum. Now, there is a, a related concept which is force. Force is really a tool for understanding what's going on with energy and what's going on with momentum. It turns out it's actually not as important as momentum and energy. It's not as fundamental. And in some ways, one could look at force as a made-up sort of concept. Momentum and energy being real and force being somewhat made up. But when we learn about force in more detail, we'll, we'll focus on that. So the main structure is we've got motion. What's the nature of the motion? We are experts on that. Why do things move the way they do? That's because of momentum and energy, the conservation of. The concept of force was used to help understand the details of energy and momentum to help our, our feeble human minds understand these things. And there are other conservation laws. Now on our journey of studying momentum, I've put together a little bit of a <clears throat> table of contents here for the lessons that we will experience. The first cluster of lessons are about 
the definitions and the basics. and concepts. The second part is how these things apply, or we could call them applications of it, raising the bar, making bigger connections. And the last segment of these are actually cases, scenarios, or what we might actually think of as applications. They're very specific applications. So there's three kind of segments or parts to the course. Now what I included over here to the right was the AP reference table. And despite how very, very important momentum is, the only formulas that we will see as an outgrowth of momentum are this one, this one, this one, and this one, superficially. That's it. Now, as we saw in kinematics, where we learned about this formula and this formula and this formula, we saw that there were many, many more that were either definitions or centrally important than those shown on the, the equation sheet. So there are these four formulas here, um, which are not the most helpful ones to have on the, on the formula sheet, but I wanted to navigate you there. And this is our introduction to momentum.